You know what brings a smile to my face? The thought of $65,000 for a case of Yu-Gi-Oh! trading cards. You heard that right. If you check the video title, this isn't an April Fool's joke. This is legit. $65,000. 65 big ones for a first edition, first print run, sealed 12 box case of Yu-Gi-Oh! trading cards. This is straight from the source. This isn't any nonsense. This is a legitimate deal. It went down in person, not by myself. It did not involve me. I'm just the messenger. I am just reporting on what I've heard happen from very reputable sources. It happened. Someone paid 65,000 bucks, 65 G's, 65 big ones, for that first dead 12 box case of LOB Legend of Blue Eyes first edition cards. We gotta get the light on. We, we, we just, sh the market, the market just exploded. Let's look at LOB boxes. Let's take a look at my other video that said, this was eight months ago, and it said, oh, or maybe a year. 1000 to 1500 for an LOB box. That's a steal. That is turning out to be quite a steal, because when someone pays over 60 k for a 12-box case, which is a little over $5,000 a box, that's premium. And you know what that tells me? That tells me Yu-Gi-Oh! is a legitimate investor sport. Yu-Gi-Oh! is now on the map of becoming that entity that is what magic is in the form of people are willing to spend big time money for big time cards and it shows in this sale. If you don't believe me, go to eBay. Check out LOB first edition boxes. You know, three months ago they're selling for sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars. And now we're approaching three, four, up to five grand for LOB boxes. And in this video, we're discussing LOB, and I can't be happier. When I heard of this sale, the 65000 cash deal in person, oh man, did that start the new year off well. I can't have a bigger smile on my face knowing that there's another player out there paying 65 Gs for Pokey or <laughs> For Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We already discussed. Yes. You're going to say you're, you're, you're counterintuitive. You're, you're kind of a, a hypocrite. Because you're talking about how Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. Pokemon's on its own pedestal. And Yu-Gi-Oh's got that risk and the gloom and the danger like my other video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I like it. I think it's accurate. Yes. Yu-Gi-Oh still does have that gloom, danger, and risk. But. But. Someone legitimately paying this kind of money, this serious kind of money, and people legitimately paying over and over again. This isn't one sale for four or $5,000 box LOB. We've seen now three to four sales of First Dead Legend of Blue Eyes boxes selling for $4,000. And I've heard people say, well, you know, this is not legitimate. It was worth, you know, 1800 as of three, four months ago. This isn't a legitimate sale. It's not selling for three thousand, and then it's not selling for four thousand, and then it's not selling for five thousand. I mean, the numbers are there. You could say yes, it was inflated. Someone said, "Well, how do you know this isn't inflated by somebody else, by another person with another LOB box? Maybe a collaboration kind of thing, where someone's going to bid on it for them, and it's going to show that it's a big sale, and everyone's going to cause a stir, and everyone's just going to start buying LOB." It's not. It's not the other seller, I believe, Kate Gamer, whatever it was. And if you search F-I-R-S-T edition, not one S-T, but F-I-R-S-T, L-O-B, or Legend of Blue Eyes Box, which I'm actually thinking of doing a Market Watch Vintage Values video on that. But if you search that, you'll see a big time sale from Kate Gamer. That is actually the seller who I bought my box from for a $600 price tag, six Benjamins. For that just a few years ago 
And that is from the same exact case uh, that someone else, a reputable person, has bought that from, from that seller. I'm not going to name names. And in this video, I won't name names. I won't say who did the deal. I won't say who sold the items, who bought the items, where this transaction occurred, who had the case, how did they know it was sealed first print. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot here to go over. I think in the future, I'm going to go over how to tell, obviously, first and second working cards. A lot of people have asked me about that. But, again, baby... I had to bring this out. I had to do it when I heard this sale. It's time to duel, baby. 65 G's for a first edition, first print run case. Man, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So now, now, let's see here. Is this guy foolish? Or is this guy a genius for paying $65,000? On L.O.B., a sealed case of first print, first edition, L.O.B. Here's my take on it. He overpaid. He absolutely overpaid. For the owner that sold him that 12-box case, good for him. He's making out right now at this current moment. Boxes are not worth what this guy paid for the 12-box case. Boxes are not worth that this current day. What's to say this is kind of like a phase and it kind of dips back down a little bit? Granted, I don't think it'll ever hit 16, 17, 1800 again. I really don't. I don't see it hitting that again. I think we're past that point now. I don't think it's going to die down back to the 16, 1700, 18 dollar price tag. I could see it dipping a little bit, or I could see it continuing to go up. And you know, he overpaid. He could have bought boxes at 4,000, 4,500, 4.3, 4.4, whatever it may be. Instead, he paid quite a bit over five grand a box to get that 12 box case. But what does that mean? Why would he overpay for that case? Well, here's the reasoning. He would overpay for that case because he has guarantee, he has certainty that these boxes have not been tampered with, that they're authentic, legitimate boxes. Keep in mind the cases had Legend of Blue Eyes, all the stamps, everything on the case itself. He has the certainty, he has the peace of mind, he has the guarantee that there's no funny business going on, especially in a product that has had a lot of fakes on the market in the form of LOB, first edition, first print run. With this case, he knows he's got 12 legitimate first print run boxes, and he's willing to pay a premium based on that. Also, he's willing to pay a premium based, or she, based on the fact that it is a sealed case of cards. How many sealed cases of LOB Unlimited do you see? You don't even see Unlimited LOB. How many sealed cases of Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler, Pharaoh's Servant, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos, Magician's Force? How many sealed 12-box cases do you see on the market ever? You don't see anything like that ever go up on the market. So you are paying a premium for a sealed case. And lastly, you're paying a premium based on condition. You know when you buy that sealed case, you are getting 12 flawless, immaculate condition boxes. No frills, no popping the lids to see if they're authentic packs. No other checks to see if it's legit. You are buying a no-frills purchase, a long-term investment that you're hoping is going to turn into something real big. I gotta say, the guy's crazy, but the crazy people are what make money. The crazy people are the ones, the risk-takers, are the ones that make the big bucks or go down hard. Will this guy go down hard, or will this guy make the big bucks? Will he fall and crumble, or will he be full of gold? Well... I can't answer that question, but I will say he did overpay. He did overpay for the 12-box case, $65,000. And that also is a lot of money to put up front. So hopefully this person or he or she had other avenues, other forms of capital, other cash reserves. Because if he's spending sixty five dollars on Yu-Gi-Oh cards and expecting to flip it quick, he's out of his mind. This has to be a purchase that he's going to wait 10 years, that he's going to wait 15 years, that he's going to wait 20 years and wants to see his return in that long-term frame. If he's looking to flip this case from $65,000, $65, there's no way it's going to happen. There's no way. You're going to have zero success doing that. But if you're looking to hold long-term, 
I think it's a good buy long term. Uh, I think it's a win-win in this case for the seller of the case and for the buyer of the case because I already know in my in my mind LOB First Ed has unlimited potential. I mean, unlimited. Let, let's look at Magic. You know what is it? Uh, Alpha, Beta. Those sealed product go for absurd amounts of money. Pokemon, obviously, as we know, let's pull our jets. We know the Pokemon First Edition base set. Nothing can compare, but. Imagine someone had a full 12 box case, or is it six box? Full six box case. Imagine how much that would go for. It'd go for absurd amounts of money. Probably would go for a million bucks. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked if it sells for a million dollars. But it's risky. It's risky. You're you're paying 65, 65 big ones for a chance uh, that it goes up long term, 10, 20 years. And as we know, Konami does not has not done a great job. Um, of trying to market their product to the younger generation, trying new things. Yes, they have dual links, as shown on this little uh, little Yugi head here. But, um, you know, it's a win-win. The seller made his money, or her money. The buyer's hoping that it's going to turn into something big. The buyer knows that he or she may never see this come up again in the form of a sealed 12-box case. The buyer knows that's going to demand a premium in the long run if First Ed continues to go up in price. My opinion, he's neither a genius nor he's a fool. He's kind of in the middle. It, I would lean more toward the genius side, but again, it all depends on his financial situation. If he had money to blow, if he had cash reserve, if he had capital that he was just ready to invest in, that's a good buy because, you know, it, it's first dead LOB. In my opinion, first dead LOB stuff is the king of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's the absolute king. It's not going to get any better than first print, first edition, LOV. You're not going to be... I don't want to hear DDS. I don't want to hear Retro Pack. First Dead, LOB is going to trump Retro Pack 1. It's going to trump Retro Pack 2 in the future. Yes, they're cool. They're reprint sets. They're rare. But everybody wants LOB. And guess where they came from? The reprint sets all originated. It all started... With LOB, everything started Legend of Blue Eyes, like base set Pokemon, like Beta, Alpha, Magic. LOB is the set to buy. You're not going to, and this is a video for another time, compared to Retro Pack. I don't want to ever hear, in my opinion, in my opinion, this is all opinionated stuff. Man. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, this little... I don't want to hear Retro Pack uh, being thrown around in the form of LOB. It's like, well, you know... I'm going to sell all my LOB stuff and buy retro pack boxes and sell all my LOB. That is not a good idea. It's not, in my opinion, not a good idea. You're going to want to keep that LOB because in 5, 10 years, retro pack might remain the same. LOB is going to skyrocket if that's what happens. Um, if the game doesn't decline for some reason. If the game grows, if the game is even stable, You'll see much bigger margins and increases on LOB, in my opinion, than you will see on Retro Pack. I don't care how rare Retro Pack is, nothing will trump the original first edition, first print run, especially set of LOB. Nothing is going to beat it. So, to conclude, um, we're just going to cover one more topic, and that one is, will this $65,000 sale, what will this mean for the rest of LOB? I think the LOB boxes will kind of stabilize at this four thousand dollar price point maybe five thousand i can't see it going much higher i never as much as i loved lob i never thought that it would see this kind of growth this quickly in this amount of time what happened was basically the supply on the market just diminished and people are willing to pay more and more and more and more and so the future what are we going to see with Metal Raiders? Is Metal Raiders going to start to creep up as a result? Is Magic Ruler, is Pharaoh Servant, is uh, LON, is IOC, is MFC, are they going to start to creep up because of this increase in LOB? Because other people looking that were looking to buy LOB were like, all right, I can't afford it now. I'm going to move on and buy my Metal Raiders first dead box and hold that for a lot much lower price point, entry level point. Uh, that's a question we don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens. And also, first dead LOB cards, look for those to rise. I don't, I mean, I don't have much. I'll, I'll be honest. 
I wish I picked up more, but I'm just doing this for the video purposes and my honest truth. I don't have much LOB at all, I'll be honest with you. But, I do have a first ed box, first print, um, and I do have a blue eyes, second print, first ed PSA 10. But, that stuff's gotta go up. I mean, I don't care. People are paying up the wazoo for first print, they're paying up the wazoo for second print, it doesn't matter. As a result, those PSA 10s, even 9s, should start to creep up in LOB. So keep that in mind. I'm seeing a nice looking forecast for singles from LOB. Um, because once product gets more expensive, singles get more expensive. And it's a continuous cycle that's going to just keep going up typically, especially with the old stuff. You don't know, but that seems to be the likely area. And again, we'll see if MRD, Magic Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, LON, uh, IOC, MFC, if any of that old school stuff, Ancient Sanctuary, if any of that goes up as a result because it's a lower entry point or people speculating. But also it's good because now you get big time investors in the game. Now you say, oh my goodness, $65,000. I just heard of this sale. I'm going to get involved in this. This is not a uh, joke anymore. This is not kind of a kid's game. This is not kind of a afterthought. This is legitimate. This is $65,000. This is life changing money. And, uh, once you get those big boys in the game, they want to get involved, and guess what? Prices are going to start exploding once you get the big time guys in. So we'll have to see what happens, guys. But until next time, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. Sorry I had to do this. It was just too much. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube with quite good news. Signing out. We'll see you later.